Ezekiel chapter 27. Still on Tyre. One more chapter to do on Tyre. And we already talked about in chapter 26 what Tyre was, a nation. With a long siege, the city was moved off shore because in Nebuchadnezzar, two centuries later, Alexander the Great destroyed Tyre. As God said it would be. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Now thou, son of man, take up a lamentation for Tyre. Jeremiah writes a lamentation about Jerusalem. Now this lamentation we're going to read you also find in two other places. You find it in Revelation. I got the, the chapters all that listed later on when we get to it. And you find in the United Nations. The United Nations survives on what Tyre survived on. And we'll see it. Thus, and say unto the Tyrus, O thou art situate, that's placed at the entry of the sea, which art a merchant of the people from many isles. So she was a warehouse, seaport, Godzilla of merchants. Thus saith Lord God in the tires, Thou hast said, I am perfect. I am of perfect beauty. Now remember that when we get to Ezekiel 28, 12. The city said it. You know what America says about herself? How great she is. How proudful we are. What America said. What's that? America. America the beautiful. Hey, yeah, there we go. America the beautiful. God's not saying it. America does. And when you see these things, they're not godly. They're satanic. Proud, pride. And Proverbs 31 says, A woman that is beautiful is a woman that fears the Lord, adores her husband and family, and pleases God. Thy borders are in the midst of the sea. Her line, her, her lines on a map. She's a sea coast. Thy builders have perfected thy beauty. Paint. <laughs> Did you get the word I just said? Paint. Beauty. Did you get that? I want to know your Bible by now. They have made all thy shipboards of fir trees of Sinar. All right, now we're going to we're going to get into the United Nations. We're going to get of that city in Revelation. She is a product of shipping. She's a shipbuilding. They have taken cedars from Lebanon to make masts for these. So the, the, the fir trees are used for the boats themselves and masts, sailing ship. Of the oaks of Bashan have they made thy oars. Now notice all the countries of this little tire, all the countries of the little United Nations of New York, all the places and all the stuff that you're going to find in Revelation. The company of the Asherites have made thy benches of ivory. Ooh, animal activists would hate that. You know where you got ivory from. The horns and husk of rhinos and elephants and brought out of the isles of Chinnam. Fine linen with broidered work from Egypt was that which thou spreadest forth to be thy sail. Blue and purple from the isles of Eshlam, that's a very expensive dye, was that which covered thee. Look at all the places and products this tire had. The inhabitants of Zidon, 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 and Avard were thy mariners. Thy wise men, O Tyres, that were in thee, were thy pilots. You know, the plot where the ships were to go. Compasses, map reading. The ancients, the old of Gibal, and the wise men thereof were in thee with caulkers. That's what you would put between the wood so the ship, so the ship wouldn't take water. All the ships of the sea with their mariners, mariners, 
were in thee to occupy thy merchandise. So they made ships. Ships came in, ships went out with cargo. You got the great American melting pot before America was ever even thought of. They of Persia and of Lu and of Puth were in thy army. She don't have tyrants or every tyrus people. She has other nations that are her army, just like America. America has in her armed forces, Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, Coast Guard. That of which, if we were to have a world war, the enemies would be are already in our armed forces. We are battling Muslims today, even though they don't believe it. And Muslims are in the military. Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. Japanese people are in our army. We fought Germany. Germans are in our armies and navies. As with Tyre. Thy men of war. Persia was a very harsh group of people. They were just cruel and enjoy the art of killing them and the Assyrians. They hang the shield and helmet in the protection. They set forth their comeliness, their, their looks. The men of Arvad with thy army were upon thy walls round about. So not only they're in the, the, the but there's all kinds of group of people protecting this city, and yet Nebuchadnezzar destroyed it, forced it out to the ocean, to the sea, and Alexander the Great destroyed the city. Of all that we read, and the Gamma Dems were in thy towers; they hang their shields upon thy walls round about. They have made thy beauty. Perfect. So this would have been a luxurious city to come sailing into. And the men of uh, where is that? Tarshish was thy merchant by reason of the multitude of all kinds of riches and silver and iron and tin and lead. They have traded in thy fair. So Tarshish. Paul of Tarshish would, would bring wares into Tyre to do business. Javan, Tubal, Meshach, they were thy merchants. They traded the persons of men. And we're going to read, a, I'll tell you, a Revelation chapter and verse. Where they dealt with the souls of men also. They were doing say, uh, slave trading. B.C. 588. Nothing new under the sun. Slavery is not nothing new. As a matter of fact, it's going on in 2015. And vessels of brass in thy market. They of the house of Togar Ma. Togar Ma. I don't like when my Bible changed. Traded in thy fair. Fair. This city had all kinds of fair. And all kinds of merchandise, all kinds of people with horses and horsemen and mules. Now that city, Revelation 18, check out the merchandise of that great city. And match it with this great city. Match it with, match, match it with all the nations of the United Nations and what those countries have. For exporting and importing. The men of Dedan 
were thy merchants. Many merchants, many people doing business. Many isles were the merchandise of thy hand. All the isles in the Mediterranean Sea. They brought thee for a present. Horns of ivory. Oh, look at that. And ebony. So animal horns, bones, in the Bible, Syria, that's the nation making news today in 2015, was thy merchant by reason of the multitude of the wares, you know, it's where you get the word hardwares, softwares, of thy making, they occupied in thy fairs with emeralds purple, and broidered work, and fine linen, and coral, and agate. Judah, uh-oh. Judah was doing business with these people. And the land of Israel, they were thy merchants. They traded in thy market wheat of minas, and paga, and honey and oil and balm that which was God's Damascus where Paul was going to was thy merchant in the multitudes of the wares of thy making for the multitude of, of all riches in the wine of Helbon and white wool so they had they had wineries they had Package stores. They sold booze. They sold gems. They sold ivory. They sold ebony. They sold slaves. They sold purple, broidered coats, hats. Dan. That's the northern tribe of Israel. Also, and Javan going to and fro occupied thy fair. Bright iron. Cassia, Commonus, were in thy market. See all these people? See all these nations? See all the products? Dedan was thy merchant in precious cloths or chariots. Now, I don't know why they had cloths for chariots, but there it is. They had chariots that were uh, uh, convertible. I don't know. Arabia. That's down south. That's the Arabians. Ishmael. And all the princes of Kedar. Well, that's an interesting name. They occupied with thee in lambs and rams and goats. And these were, thy, were they thy merchants. Animals were being traded. The merchants of Sheba, the queen of Sheba. And Ramah. They were thy merchants. They occupied in thy fairs with chief of all spices and with all precious stones and gold. Now, I'm not saying anything prophesied, but doesn't this just sound like a Walmart? Closest thing we got today to this is, is Walmart with all the goods. Karen and Kenna. And Eden, the merchants of Sheba, Ashur, and Kalmad were thy merchants. And they were thy merchants in all sorts of things. And blue clothes, very rich. And broid work, in chests of rich appeal, apparel. Clothes in a chest, bound with cords, and made of cedar, cedar chests among thy merchandise. The ships of Tarshish did sing of thee in thy market. And thou wast replenished, filled up. The the, the, uh, the track of trailers would come in and fill the store up and made very glorious in the midst of the sea. In the midst of the seas, that's when it became the island. She was a sea coast. Thy roars, the one that handle the oars, have brought thee into great waters. The east wind has broken thee in the midst of the sea. Thy riches, 
and thy fairs, thy merchandise, thy mer mariners, thy pilots, thy caulkers, the occupiers of thy merchandise, and all thy men of war. They had vessels of, of military, they had vessels of commerce that are in thee, in all thy company which in the midst of thee shall fall into the midst of the sea in the day of thy ruin, and it does happen. The suburbs shall shake at the sound of the cry of thy pilots. And all that handle the oar, the mariners, and all the pilots of the sea shall come down from their ships. They shall stand upon the land, and shall cause their voice to be heard against thee, and shall cry bitterly. I didn't see no assembly for God, did you? I don't mean assembly of God. I mean, I didn't see any tabernacles or places of worship for God, did you? Cry bitterly and shall cast up dust upon their heads, and they shall wallow themselves in ashes. That means roll around. And they shall make themselves utterly bald for thee. Baldness, making yourself baldness, is a sign of the dead. And gird thee with sackcloth, and they shall weep for thee with bitterness of heart, and bitter wailing over a city. And in their wailing or wailing, they shall take up a lamentation for thee, and lament over thee, saying, What cities like Tyrus, like the destroyed in the midst of the sea, when thy wares went forth out of the seas, and fillest many people, and didst enrich the kings of the earth with the multitude of thy riches and of thy merchandise. Kings get the S for the tribulation passage. In the time when thou shalt be broken by the seas and the depths of the waters, thy merchandise and all thy company in the midst of thee shall fall. All inhabitants of the isles shall be astonished at thee, and their kings shall be sore afraid. They shall be troubled in their continents. The merchants among the people shall hiss at thee, and thou shalt be a terror, and never shall be any more exactly let's go to Revelation 18 let's pick it up in Revelation 18 and look up commodities of the United Nations in further study and we'll take it 18 verse 9 and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her. Does that sound familiar? And lament for her. Does that sound familiar? When they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Now it took. Uh, Alexander the Great more than an hour to, to conquer. <clears throat> and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise any more. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stone in the jewelry shop, and of pearls and fine linen, purple and silk and scarlet. In the woman's area, and of all thine wood, and all manner of vessels of ivory, and all manner of vessels of most precious wood, and of brass, and iron, and marble, in the furniture section, and cinnamon, and odors, and ointments, and frankincense, in the spice aisle, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, in the bakery aisle, and beasts, and sheep. And you see what we've just said, read about Tyre? And beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves in the future. You're not going to abolish slavery. And souls of men. 
and the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee, and all things which were dainty, that's nice, enjoyable, and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. And saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen. Have you ever seen pictures of the Orient or the Middle East? Those fairs you see blankets and, and linen, you know, flopping with the bleeds that made their boots. Fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour, and that took long retire, so great riches has come to naught, but all tires riches came to naught. And every shipmaster and all the company in the ships and the sailors, as many as trade by sea, stood afar off. That's the same thing you read in what we read in Ezekiel about Tyre. You're going to see it when you, if you were to study on your own. The commodities of the nations that are in the assembly called the United Nations. All the countries that are in the United Nations, United Nations controls their commodities, which we read in these two passages in Ezekiel and Revelation. So what's the world want? Do they show up on church Sunday morning bright and early for thanks after Thanksgiving? Or do they show up bright and early for Black Friday? God already told you the masses will go for the goods rather than for the gods. 